What cold case or unsolved crime still gives you chills? Xavier Dupont de Lagans. He killed entire family and vanished. He has been looked for over a decade and even today French media brings new info about his troubled past, money and marriage problems, that gives you chills. The Unsolved Mysteries episode on this guy made me so ducking angry. If the timeline the show gave is correct, the cops and everyone else basically knew he had killed his family and fled almost immediately, they just continuously refused to actually investigate it and just gave him unlimited time to wander off and disappear. The Disappearance of Brian Schaffer He went out drinking with friends, entered a bar and never came out again. Nobody knows what happened to him and there were no other exits inside. He just disappeared without a trace. Missy Bevers This is one case that I always check in on every few months. Woman goes to a church at like 4 a.m. to teach a Zumba class and gets bludgeoned to death by someone wearing police riot gear. To this date no arrests have been made yet they have video of a suspect walking around all nonchalantly. The horror that woman must have felt gives me chills. The Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum Art Heist On the night of March 18, 1990, museum guards allowed two men dressed as police officers to enter Boston's Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. They were fake cops and immediately tied up the guards and set about stealing 13 artworks worth a half billion dollars. Despite the $10 million reward, the case remains unsolved. I actually work at this museum and what's so frustrating is that everyone is pretty sure who did it, the Boston Mafia, they were planning to try and get info out of Whitey Bulger before he died, but what makes it so upsetting is that most likely these works, which were already irreparably damaged when they were taken out of the frames, were probably just left to sit in a basement or attic and are still there. The two most valuable works are instantly recognizable and would be semi-difficult to sell. Unless they had a buyer set up, and the random nature of the theft seems to indicate they didn't, they were probably just taken for some kind of insurance or power play use within the Mafia. The latest tip, from 2012, put the pieces in a shed that had been completely flooded and subsequently cleaned out. Even if that wasn't where they were, it seems likely that they were or in a similar situation. I say the most interesting case is the one billed as septic tank Sam. It took place in Tofield a small town in Alberta with roughly a 1,200 inhabitant and located 70 kilometers east of Edmonton. It began in April 1977, when a local couple named Charlie and Mavis McLeod wanted a pump for their septic tank, and decided to take the one in the tank located in their old abandoned farm, located 13 kilometers outside of Tofield. However, when they opened the tank, they saw a sock and a shoe, and when they picked up the shoe, it turned out to be attached to a leg. The police were notified immediately. They drained the tank and removed the decomposed body of a full-grown man, and so began one of the most horrifying murder cases in Canada's history. The man was heavily decomposed, and was wrapped in bed sheets. The killer put quick lime on him to quicken the decomposition. He was genitally mutilated and it took the police a lot of time to know if he was man or a woman. He also had signs of torture, with burn marks from a butane blowtorch and cigarettes, as shown from the burns on his clothes. He also appeared to have been tied on a bed on the time of his death. He was eventually shot in head and in the chest before being dumped in the septic tank. There could have been more shots, but they only found two broken bones. These infos about his fate are a result multiple investigations done through the years. He was buried in an unmarked grave, and was exhumed when forensic scientist Clyde Snow from University of Oklahoma wanted to make a 3D reconstruction of his face in 1979, and again in 2000 when forensic scientist Cyril Chan made another clay face of Sam. His teeth info was sent to over 800 dentists across the country with no avail, only agreeing that his teeth were in bad shape, and the dental work he did was probably done in Canada. Many people claimed to have known Sam and said that he fit the description of a missing relative. These reports came from all over Canada and even from California, but they were all ruled out by teeth records. This scared the small town. People were checking their septic tanks, and were afraid that their neighbor as the killer and grocers were afraid that the killer might be a regular customer. The death of Magdalena Zuck. She was a Polish girl who bought tickets for both herself and her boyfriend to go to Egypt but ended up going alone due to issues with her boyfriend's passport. Just a day after she arrived in Egypt, she seemingly lost her mind. She started acting strange and was taken to a private hospital while arrangements were made for her boyfriend's friend to come take her back to Poland. At the hospital, she made multiple attempts to jump out the window and had to be restrained. 
a nurse untied her so that she could go to the bathroom and apparently Magda made a final, fatal dash for the window. She was taken to a larger hospital but died hours later. You can find recordings of her video call with her boyfriend which clearly shows her being paranoid and jumpy. When asked what the problem was, besides phrases like they have all sorts of tricks here and I'll never get out of here, all she said was one letter, M. Her boyfriend's name started with M. Her tour guide's name started with M. The name of the friend who was being sent to her also started with M. If I remember correctly. So there really is no way to know what the whole thing was about. She also said something along the lines of they're watching me, I can't talk. What made Magda act strangely? Why was she so scared? Why did she jump out a window? Did she even jump out on her own accord? Was she pushed off? The Istal Woman She was a foreign woman found burned to death at a remote area in Norway in 1970. She visited Norway twice in 1970, once in March 1970, and then in November 1970. The Istal Woman stayed at various hotels around Norway under several false names and supposedly possessed false passports. Hotel staff reported that she kept to herself and spoke to them in German and broken English. She was also witnessed conversing in French with a man at a hotel lobby. The Istal woman stood out in Norway because she looked foreign and dressed very stylishly. She was also a lone woman staying in hotels, which was unusual in 1970. After her death, it was rumored that she was a spy from Israel or Russia. Nobody knows who she is and why she came to Norway. Her death was ruled as a suicide though many investigators dispute this ruling. The Atlas Vampire In 1932, a woman living alone in Stockholm was found bludgeoned to death in her apartment. The discovery of a blood-covered gravy ladle led police to believe that they had found the murder weapon, but this was not the case. The murderer had used it to drink her blood, and had successfully drained the corpse of nearly all liquid before fleeing the scene. The Disappearance of Louis Le Prince Most people refer to Thomas Edison as the father of motion pictures simply because he patented the idea. Louis Le Price invented a motion picture camera before Edison could but one day he boarded a train and that's when he was last seen. His wife couldn't submit the patent for the camera as she needed to wait a year to submit a missing persons patent. That's the same time as Edison invented his own motion picture camera slash device whatever they referred to it as back in the early 1900s. If I recall correctly the famous patent wars ensued and Thomas Edison was regarded sole inventor of motion pictures. Branson Perry disappeared from his own backyard in 2001. He had friends over to help get the house in order for his dad who was coming home from the hospital. He went to the backyard to put something away in the shed, and no one saw him again. His dad came home like a week later than expected, so his disappearance wasn't reported till later, but what about the friends that were there with him? Did they not notice his disappearance? Why didn't they look for him? Then when police checked the shed, the item he was returning wasn't there, but shows up randomly like two weeks later. Apparently he had a history of drug use, and his dad had just caught him sleeping with a male friend a week before he disappeared or something. Somehow police came to the conclusion that he hitchhiked somewhere. They arrested a guy who would pick up young male hitchhikers and kill them, and he admitted to many murders but not Brandon. It's not eerie or chilling per se. There's just so many random facts about the case that don't seem to have any correlation. What's even stranger is that his cousin was actually murdered a few years after him, some woman murdered her and removed her unborn baby from her stomach. That poor family, what are the odds? Elizabeth Barraza and her husband lived in the neighborhood behind me. On January 25, 2019 someone drove up to the house as she was setting up for a garage sale. The person got out of their truck and walked up and shot her several times and then drove away. We have surveillance video from a neighbor and it shows the whole thing. But there still hasn't been a suspect named, the Harris County Police are at a loss. It was so early in the morning that the light was still low so it's hard to tell if the person is even a male or female. Elizabeth was a wonderful person, she was heavily involved in a volunteer group that would visit hospitals dressed as characters from Star Wars. Her marriage was great, there's just no reason for someone to want to kill her. So over a year later there's been nothing, all we know right now is that a random person just drove up and shot Elizabeth in her driveway. Thanks for tuning in to Reddit Streams. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Share your views in the comments below.